Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 8 of your bucket plugin or spigot plugin tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the basics of using inventory in buckets and uh, how to give people items, how to give people armor. Uh, and I'm sure from that we'll be able to, uh, I'm not going to go into any more detail because uh, it's very quite self-explanatory and in future tutorials we're going to be looking at it, uh, implementing it with, with larger scale plugins and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to be doing it in a command, I guess, that would make the most sense. So if we take our goodbye command, which currently does nothing, and we're going to just change our goodbye command completely. So we're actually going to right click on goodbye, go to refractor, rename, uh, we're going to call this command equip. Uh, it's going to equip them with items. So rename this to equip. Um, and if we take everything in here up to blow the player, uh, and we just delete it, there we go. and reformat everything so control shift o now if you notice if we go into the bc bros here it's also changed uh, equip as well we just need to change goodbye here to say equip and also in our plugin.yml uh, we need to take goodbye and change it to equip and the description will be um, uh, equips i can't spell equip equips the player with stuff like so remember to refresh so hit the top refresh Okay, so equip. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the player's inventory first of all, and the player inventory has its own class, uh, and it's called uh, player inventory. <laughs> so to do this, we type player inventory, like so, and we take it from org.bucket.inventory, and we say uh, player inventory. So we're going to call it, or if we just call it inv, that would make it easier. Equals player. Dot get inventory. So this gets all the data about the player's inventory at the moment that this is fired. Uh, so the way that we now use this is if we type inv dot, you'll see there's loads of I like uh, stuff in here uh, that we can use to do things. So you see the very top one is add item uh, and all of this stuff. You can clear the inventory. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say inv dot clear. So we're going to clear their inventory completely. Uh, so it's ready to have new stuff added, and we're going to give them uh, a few things. So the way that we are going to do this in this plugin is we're just going to give them uh, a diamond sword, uh, a stone pickaxe, and we're going to give them a leather chest plate that's already on them. Let's go with that. So the way we do this now is now that inventory is being cleared, I'm just going to add some comments. So if we type double slash here, uh, and we're just going to say clear players inventory. This isn't read by the compiler, so it's just making our code clearer. So now a line underneath, we're going to type inv dot, and we're going to say um, add item, item stack. And you see it says dot, dot, dot. That means it's an array of item stacks. So we can actually have more than one item stack in here. And what an item stack is, is it's a um, stack, an item. It's just an item, essentially. Uh, it's how items are defined in, in bucket and spigot and stuff like that. So above here, we're going to define a few item stacks. So we're going to say item stack, um, item stack and we're going to say diamond diamond sword equals a new item stack now control shift o to import item stack from org.bucket.inventory.item stack contain new item stack and it takes a material type so we're going to say material dot diamond underscore sword now you see we get all the materials if we type material dot and make sure to get material from org.bucket.material not net.minecraft so we've got a diamond sword now we're going to take this and we're going to just going to paste it down a few times so now we want a, uh, a leather, not a leather, we want, let's give them some stone. So, stone. Uh, and now we want to give them a new item set material, stone, and then a comma, and we'll give them, we'll give them 32 stone. Like so. We're going to give them also a stone pickaxe, stone pickaxe, like so. So, material.stone underscore pickaxe, like that. And finally, we want a leather chest plate. So item stack leather underscore chest plate, like so. And as you can see, if I just go through it all, there is every item that you could ever want here. Uh, some items have different data values, but we'll get into that soon. Uh, so leather chest plate, like so. So we're going to add these items. So we're going to say add item diamond sword, comma stone, comma stone pickaxe. However, if we add the leather chest plate to their inventory, it's not really like doing anything. It's just uh, kind of being added to the inventory. It's not going onto the person. So 
what we want to do is we want to add it differently. And also I want to give this leather chest plate a an enchantment. So we're going to say leather chest plate dot add enchantment. And we go into enchantment. So enchantment is an enumerator, so we can just type enchantment dot. And then we get all of these different types of enchantments. Um, well, I don't know what, uh, how, how these work, so I'm just going to give it uh, <laughs> protection explosion. There we go. And the level has to be a normal level. If we want to add a crazy level, then we could say dot add unsafe enchantment. Uh, and it would add a different enchantment. So actually, let's let's do that. Let's add a normal enchantment. So add enchantment uh, to this one. Let's give it a level one thing. So also let's move this down here. And then to the stone pickaxe, let's say stone pickaxe dot add unsafe enchantment. So enchantment enchantment. <laughs> I can't type enchantment dot. Um, now this is an enchantment that normally couldn't be added to this item. So we'll give it dig speed uh, 55, like so, because that, that could never happen. <laughs> so anyway, now we're going to add all these items to the inventory, and we're also going to say inventory dot, um, mm, dot get, dot, sorry, <laughs> we're going to say inventory dot set uh, chest plate, and the, uh, the item that will be in the chest plate will be the leather chest plate, uh, and that is like that. So what else you could do with this is you could say inventory dot set uh, helmet, and you could set the helmet to like a, a wall block or something, so they have a, a block on the head or a TNT block on the head, uh, and that'd be pretty cool. So you can do those kind of things with this, um, and then we'll send the player a message. We'll say player dot send message. Uh, your inventory has been equipped. Equipped. You could also do this by getting things from say the configuration file that we've done. We might get into that in later tutorials. Or if you don't know how, if you don't know how to work it out right now, uh, so yeah, I'm going to export this, and I'll see you in the game. Okay, so we're in the game, and you'll see if I type slash help uh, tutorial plugin. Oh, well, <laughs> forget the name. Help. Uh, it's called player message plugin. Help player message plugin. You see, we now have the slash equip command here. So if we now do slash equip like so, you'll see my inventory gets cleared. And my inventory has been equipped, like so. So I now have my diamond sword, my 32 stone, and my level 55 enchantment stone pickaxe. And in my survival inventory, you'll see I've got the blast protection one leather tunic on my chest slot. And the stone pickaxe is, uh, I don't know if they changed it. I can only break grass. <laughs> well, what a shame. Make this plugin to give me this pickaxe and I can only break glass. Zero. Uh, so yeah, that's that's this plugin. That's how to use very basics of inventory. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Right. <laughs> it's how to use the very basics of inventory. Um, and obviously, as we go into the other plugins, we're going to be using inventory quite a lot. Um, so this was just the basics covering inventory and how to use it. Uh, next tutorial, I think we're going to be getting into some more interesting things. Uh, so you'll have to stick around. Hopefully I'll be posting a little bit more regularly than I have been over the past month or so. Uh, sorry again about that, uh, but I've been away. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys aren't too mad at me, and I'll see you next time.